Hello, my name is Jerry Bowman, and I'm a member of Cessna Customer Service Engineering Team Structures. Today I'd like to discuss the requirements for providing value-added macro photographs for structural issues and show you a few examples. Macro photos give much needed information for your structural issue and reduce the amount of time required to evaluate the problem. Outside of major structural damage involving a large portion of the aircraft, most structural issues are confined to one or just a few areas of concern. Three or four photos for a single damaged area are usually sufficient. Following the orientation and intermediate photos, a macro photo is an extremely zoomed image view of the area in order to show a high level of detail required for evaluation and possible repair. Before taking any photos, I highly recommend reviewing other team structures videos on camera focusing, image size, JPEG quality, lighting, and today's use of smartphones. Macro photographs do not need a large amount of data provided on the photo, either physically or electronically using software. This data is usually best provided on the intermediate photograph. However, it is very important that the macro option is enabled on your camera before taking photos that are 12 inches or less to the material surface. Macro photographs should be very clear with proper lighting, depth of field, and provided with high quality and resolution. Otherwise, the macro detail will be lost and the photo will not serve its purpose. If markups are provided, Team Structures recommends modifying the photo with computer software. Team Structures uses the free downloadable online application Photoscape. Thank you for your time, and please be sure to view the other two orientation and intermediate video segments before taking any photographs. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or email to csstructures at cessna.com.